Begin. Ray Bradbury was one of the best authors in the history of mankind. Ray Bradbury incorporated many new technologies into the book that he knew would turn for the worst. They ranged from mechanical hounds, which kill people in vicious ways, to TV walls numbing you of all feelings for other humans, to nuclear weapons that would destroy entire cities. He wrote many books, including The Martian Chronicles, Dandelion Wine, Something Wicked This Way, The Illustrated Man, and Fahrenheit 451, which is the book we will be talking about today. As a young adult, Ray Bradbury was certain that technology would turn for the worse as it kept getting more advanced, and he portrayed that thought beautifully in his book Fahrenheit 451. One of the technologies that Bradbury used to reflect his feeling of nervousness was the walls in Montag and Mildred's home. Throughout the book, Mildred is always talking about how great the walls are, but never once mentions that Montag is in any way even good. What, Montra what Bradbury is trying to tell us here is that technology, and more specifically the walls, uh, which represent TV, will eventually take over our loved ones and we won't have as much respect for them. <coughs> Another example of how Bradbury disliked technology was when Montag walks into their house and it is booming with sound. <coughs> Mildred is hardly affected, but Montag's bones were almost shaken from their tendons and his eyes wobbled in his head. Bradbury used this metaphor perfectly to symbol how technology would numb us of all feeling for other leaving, breathing, living, talking human beings. He also uses uh, another way he uh, that Bradbury uses technology in a bad way in this book is when uh, Montag walks into his house and Mildred and her friends are watching some very very violent things on the walls. Um, <clears throat> this they were not affected by this, so but Mildred was horrified horrified by all the violence. This is a perfect metaphor also for numbing us of all feeling. So, do you think Bradbury was right or what? I mean, he predicted smart TVs and violent video games and movies. The only thing that he predicted that hasn't come true is the consequences associated with these things. Fahrenheit 451. 
the temperature at which books burn. Ray Bradbury was really a magnificent writer. Ray Bradbury was one of the most prestigious and gifted writers of his time. He put very deep thought into each and every one of his books, especially the one we're about to talk about today, which is Fahrenheit 451. Fahrenheit 451 has many fascinating subjects, and it dived into his prospects of the future, including technology. Ray Bradbury had a fear of technology, and he was anxious about what technology held in store for humanity. Ray Bradbury lived in the nuclear age and had many thoughts on nuclear weaponry and the potential it held. He also saw the negative correlation between nuclear weapons and the violence in human nature. He expressed this fear of technology in many pages of the book by showing the insecurity and fear that many people in the book lived with every day. In his book, he also featured a device that looked a bit like a green bullet about this big, and the green bullet uh, he, the guy would insert it into his ear, and it allow him uh, allow him to communicate with anyone, I guess, who had one as well, from very far away. It's very similar to modern cell phones of today, which allows you to call from another location. And it's also very similar to the earphones many people use today. Some of them even have built-in microphones, allowing you to plug it into a phone or whatever. And you can talk um, talk with other people just using the earphones. Reed Bradbury was a fantastic author who incorporated many new technologies into his book. And although he held a great fear of technology and what it would bring to mankind, he helped bring out a new era of literature and helped truly entertain me with a thoughtfully written book. was how Bradbury was extremely afraid of how technology would develop over the years because he thought it would be getting worse and worse and eventually take over everything we know from walls to mechanical hounds to nuclear weapons. They all he, all, he betrayed all of them in a bad way and he, he um, felt like they were going to be good in the future. <laughs> 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 